premium granola. I had to go to Whole Foods to buy this. It's looking good now because now I see the birds are attacking each other for this stuff. That's how good you need to make the game. Oh, there you go. Anyways, you know, that's the real question is, is how do we protect the games from these crazy, evil, rabid dogs that are totally mean and bully the ducks? Okay, well, I spent like 10 bucks today to feed the birds because I bought all this gourmet stuff. And just a few dogs scared away or wasted that 10 bucks. That's the real lesson. But the good news is that I see, and I haven't seen this before, the ducks are attacking each other for the food. <laughs> that means that I'm onto something good. I'm providing them something really good because... <laughs> oh my goodness. I think the other lesson I learned is that they want big fat granola stuff. They want the granola clumps. The little granola doesn't work. But look, even though people are responding to the granola, I swear to you, the birds, what, what the people were feeding them before, they're still eating it. You gotta see what the heck that is. so much cheaper and the birds love it. I think that's a lesson. Maybe I just have to make parkour games. But as an indie developer you want to find something new that people like or that birds like. Indie bird feeder. So I always have to come up with new stuff that birds will like. Of course they'll like bird seed. But will they like granola? We found out today. And look, the ducks are going for the generic bird seed. I bought premium stuff to feed them. And yet, bird seed. You tell me, folks, how are we going to make sure that players will actually enjoy playing creativity games instead of parkour games or all this other natural disaster nonsense that I keep hearing people talk about? You tell me, because that's the real challenge, is finding out a way to get an audience that actually resonates with what you like to do. It's like, how do you like to write stories, but would you like to write stories that you don't even really like, even though the audience will be there to listen to it? It's a good question. These are philosophical questions that only birds can answer. That's why you got to feed the birds. I will just enjoy myself because I can't worry about everyone liking everything. I will just enjoy feeding the birds because it's fun. There you go, little vulture. It seems like the birds like granola more than bread because I see the vulture is trying to scare away people from this stuff. I will try one other experiment. If I break up the jelly bean into small pieces, will they eat it? Yes. Isn't that a crazy lesson? Look at that. At first they didn't like it. Now I break it up into small pieces and they love the jelly beans. But don't you think that's messed up? That not only do I have to buy gourmet jelly beans, I have to break it up for these spurts? It's another lesson. I think the other lesson is, is that <clears throat> I saw it first. The ducks weren't going, but the vultures, they're the ones who bit first today. If it wasn't for the vultures, the ducks would not have tried to come and eat this stuff. So I think it, the lesson is to treat everyone with respect, because you never know who's going to help you today. What's up, chroma clubbers and doodle clubbers? Well, now um, I just wanted to point out that actually the recording of the birds was taken from yesterday. It was part two of yesterday. I broke up yesterday's video into part one, which was yesterday, and part two, which is today. 
I spent most of today actually working on figuring out, well, first of all, fixing the glitches, but also figuring out a way where people can, you know, we can improve the terrain because Godly Girl mentioned, and I totally agree, that the terrain looks horrible and we need to fix it. So I talked to Godly Girl today and we actually came up with an idea where what if everything was kind of doodled or a lot of the things in the world were doodled. So I did an experiment today where I actually put doodled flowers that Godly Girl made into the world. So you let me know what you think. Do you like the doodle style? Or do you like the 3D kind of gel flowers where it kind of looks like little pieces of, you know, a stem and then 3D gel? Um, the, the doodle flowers can also look a little 3D, but obviously it's a different style. So let me know what you think and what you vote for. Now on to Ask CCH. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to finish up the questions from last time that I missed. And those questions were, pain. when will you fix the clubs? <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Let me know the specific issue you're having, and I will look into it. Raven, Queen of Darkness, asks, Hiya, DCH. I'm just curious. I know you're currently busy with the virtual world and all, but are you going to be updating anything on DC anytime soon? If so, can you please let folders be optional in gift sending? That way we don't have to scroll through thousands of doodles just to send one picture. It'll be easier. Thank you for reading this. I hope you have a great day. The main update that we may do for DC is actually having a new week called either Base Week or Terrain Week where players will be able to create bases or terrain for the Doodle World. That's the main focus and maybe maybe some by some random chance we may actually do the gift thing that you mentioned. Thanks for the feedback though. It's good to have a list so that when there is time or if there ever is time to fix stuff, I have a good list. Piggy Queen 11 asks, how do you get a lot of awards fast? Well, you can go to the projects, go to the projects tab on your profile and um, <clears throat> then go to buy projects. And then a lot of these weeks still have the projects still up there. Pet week, legend week. Um, and what you do is just fill them out and submit them and then let me know and then I'll review them. And there you go. And then you will get your badges quickly. So there you go. Yami asks, why is it that when someone joins a battle, they can't pick a doodle from their doodles, but the maker of the challenge can? Um, what do you think about that? Do you think we should allow people to even choose doodles in a battle, or should it just not even matter? Also, have you seen Yu-Gi-Oh? I've heard of it, but I really haven't seen it. And you said if you haven't, you really should. I don't know, I felt, I felt like Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't that like Pokemon? I thought they were the same thing. Uh, you let me know, and uh, I will consider it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to um, actually the new round of Ask CCH questions, and let's go to those. So, Fisk Fisk Fliskis is back. asks says DCH. Okay, Alia asks. Sorry, I glitched on my last job, but can you dab in a video? Do you know who Melanie Martinez is? Would you ever consider converting DC and CC to a big franchise? Would you ever air a TV commercial for DC or CC? Um, yeah, it would be nice to have DC and CC into a big franchise, but you need the right formula, the right execution, the right quality, the right marketing. All those things have to come together. And that's why I feel that really the best thing I can do is make a game that I love and that I can fall in love with that I want to share with the world. So that's what I'm focused on. As for Melanie Martinez, yes, I've heard of her from you and I think another player who <laughs> suggested that I make a Melanie Martinez simulator. As for dabbing in a video, I actually feel that I should do something different, like create a new type of meme or trend. And that's what I'm discussing with some of the players in Doodle Club, so stay tuned. Okay, Dark Knights asks, how did you do that? And I think it's referring to the screenshot for the Ask CCH, which shows off the Doodle World. Um, basically, I did it by using learning, you know, through game programming and then implementing it and, and testing it and getting feedback. Darth Hawk asks, what's the difference between normal ketchup and fancy ketchup? Um, I guess probably <laughs> fancy ketchup has better quality ingredients, maybe less sugar, hopefully. Who knows? Banane Katse asks, can you fly? Not at the moment, but who knows? Kitty asks, how do you feel about DeviantArt and Tumblr? Well, you know, I feel like I just need to actually focus on doing an amazing and miracle job with Doodle Club and Chroma Club and 
Maybe they have suggestions or ideas I can borrow from, but really I have to just be unique. And I think that's what I'm focused on. Ella Hart's Art asks, what is CCH? It sounds stupid, but please answer. CCH stands for Chroma Club Helper. Edenator asks, please don't change DC into the Doodle World. Please, my Doodle World, uh, please make Doodle World a separate game because then I can't play it on my Nook. Um, okay, yeah, it might be a separate game, so maybe don't be too concerned about that. Lovely Doodler, the true lovely Doodler, asks, do you like kittens? Yes, I'm open to kittens and dogs. I used to not really like cats, but for some reason I'm open to actually kittens and dogs at the same time. Hasuki Najimi Haruku, the Valentine Doodler, says, you is not real. Okay, thanks. Finally, Love Pugs says, when did you start to do this? And I think Love Pugs is referring to the Doodle World. And I actually started kind of really in earnest last year. And I just want to get this out and working and, and up and going. So let's focus on getting that done. There are 49 days left until... And I'm not going to answer that until, until the end. So that's it for now. Thanks for all of the questions. And embrace the power of the doodle. Take care.